In this video, I'm going to show you how to install DS4 Windows on your PC or laptop. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so what we need to do is head on over to our website called ds4-windows.com. Now from here, there should be some ads and that. Just skip out of the ads and don't download anything from these ads. We want to go ahead and click on the download button, the blue download button on the top right hand corner of the page here. And now as you can see another ad has appeared so i'm going to skip out of that and now here we go so this is on the download page so you can see the version time recording the file size creation date late last updated and all that stuff now it's going to give you a quick rundown of how to do this on here as well but i'm just going to walk you through it so what we need to do is go ahead and click on that blue download button and now that's downloading to my computer it's only four megabytes in size once it's download go ahead and open it up all right, you might need to extract it or it might be open just like this, but click into DS4 Windows and now look for the application or the folder, the application called DS4 Windows.exe. So here it is here, DS4 Windows EXE. So it's an application. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this. Now I'm going to go ahead and extract this. So I'm going to extract it to there. Now I'm going to open this up again. And now from here, I'm going to click on DS4 Windows application. So I'm going to double click on this. Now you get a pop-up that will say save where. Pick where you want your profiles and settings to be saved. Other location files will be deleted. So we could choose program files for those who prefer a portable program. Note this option does not work if in an admin folder without UAC. Or app data for those who prefer a regular install. So I'm just going to choose app data for this. And now another box that will appear. And as it states, it says enable devices mapper support. So due to other mappers enabling support for multiple device types, by default, DS4 Windows only enables support for reading for DS4 controllers. By default, you can specific, specify mapper support for other supported devices type here, but be careful when using DS4 Windows with other possible mappers running at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on close. And I'm gonna click yes. I'm just going to close out of this window here, these windows, make it easier to see. All right, so we've got two windows here that says welcome to DS4. So now what this is going to do, this is going to allow you, your controller to work properly and then follow any additional drivers installs if prompted. For example, hid hide, Faulkner import, optional but useful. And now after this, simply connect your DualShock 4 or DualSense using a USB cable or Bluetooth. Now your controller will show as Xbox 361, so DS4 Windows maps your controller as an Xbox controller for full game compatibility. Then from there, simply test it. So launch any game or go to Control Panels, Device and Printers, right click on your controller and then go to Game Controller Settings and Test. Now I've got some additional tips here. So keep DS4 Windows running while gaming. You can create custom profiles for different games inside of here. And also check for updates within the app for better compatibility. So if you're finding that it's um, a bit sluggish or lagging or glitching, make sure DS4 Windows is up to date. And now we can do that by going in the settings tab here and also below here, check for updates at DS4 Windows startup. 